everyone. Welcome to Dawn's Kitchen and Hatteras Island Life on the day before the storm. It's just going on about four, I guess. And uh, drinking coffee in my, in my Christmas mug. And um, earlier today, I remembered that I had a rotisserie chicken, part of one, in the deep freezer. And but at the same time, I was like, hmm, I can make some soup, but in a way, I'd like some stir fry. I thought, what can I do with this? I said, okay, we're going to do Dawn's rotisserie chicken stir fry soup. <laughs> so this, this, I'm winging it. This is a first for this recipe. So what I did, I took, it was a small, small chicken I'd gotten at the grocery store, and um, I just deboned. I took what meat was left and um, took it off. See in my bowl. So that, that I'm going to cover and put in the refrigerator, because I'm actually, I'm making my own stock. So I took the bone and the skin, and where it's a already pre-seasoned rotisserie chicken, that's going to add something to your stock and make it good. And also, y'all, going to do the salt. And this is to your own preference. Those that have, you know, health issues, you might not want to do that. Took the lid off of Grandmama's pepper shaker. A little tiny bit of pepper. And some of you may already know, this is one of my favorite seasons. And I actually just um, found it at Food Line a few months ago. But it has garlic in it, um, onion, tomato, parsley. But the big, the big factor in this, it has dehydrated mushrooms. So if you put it in your pot, when you're getting ready to start your, your stock... By the way, this is going to cook a couple hours with the lid on to make it good. But go ahead and put initially put that in there. And I'm going to put the lid on after I mix it up. And I have it on high right now. But once it gets good and hot, I'm going to turn it down maybe to about medium. And let's do its thing for a couple hours and I'll come back and I'll... I'll get all the, the bones out and the skin and just leave us with some good broth. Um, what's going to make this is a stir fry soup and not just a regular soup, vegetable soup or chicken vegetable, chicken noodle. Um, got these at Connors in Buxton. Um, I had never made stir fry. I love it though. But um, this is already, this these are already, you know, just about cooked. You cook these for a couple minutes. These will go in at the end um, when we're putting it all together. But they're soft and there's two packs. So you can put just one little bit of noodle, depending on how much you got in the pot. If you want two packs. And also bird's eye asparagus frozen. It's the steamable kind, but you can still cook it stove top. And I keep this on hand, and literally with frozen asparagus, it snaps like a green bean. So this this only cooks about five minutes. The noodles a couple minutes. So it's really an easy supper. Like I said, we're gonna cook these this a couple hours, and then I'm gonna come back, strain it, and then we're gonna go to adding our chicken. You know, testing the broth to see if. It's salty enough, enough pepper, enough spice. And then we'll add our, our noodles and our asparagus. And then we'll try it out and make the rest of the world hungry. So this will be a good pop for the next few days. We're supposed to have some weather moving in. Um, <laughs> tomorrow, gust 45 to 60 out of the west. So that means I get tied. And um, my friend and I, we've already moved some of our trucks and things. We... We get it easy back in here in the village, so we're gonna we're gonna hunker down and we're just gonna eat and eat some good stuff. And there's more recipes to come over the next couple days. And another fun thing I do, uh, <laughs> I got family and friends tell me to stay home. Is um after the tide start starts coming in, not to where it's real deep, or once it starts, you know, receding some, I get on my muck boots and I go for a stroll. Um, it was, a, <laughs> it was something my dad and I did. Try not to cry here, but it was our thing. And we just, 
bad weather was an adrenaline rush for. So I'll probably get out there and act like a fool and <laughs> just have a good time by myself talking to y'all. Um, so anyways, going to let this cook a couple hours. And remember, if you start it on high, turn it down to about medium. Don't want it boiling all over the place. Uh, and we'll come back and finish her up in a little bit. Okay, y'all. See you then. Hey, y'all. It's been two hours now. And I have gone in and I have removed the, the chicken bones, the chicken carcass and all the skin. And while we were on break, I tested it for salt. So I added more. And I also added more of my mushroom herb blend. And so it's tasting pretty good now. I did add a little bit more water so I can have it the consistency I like. And I took the chicken back out of the refrigerator. Remember, I put saran wrap over it to keep it moist. And I'm going to add that to my broth. I love chicken. I used to joke with Dad. He, he said she could eat chicken every day of the week. And I think he's right. So there's my chicken. And now I, I broke up. And you can cut it up with if you want with a knife. But like I said, frozen asparagus, you can just break it with your hands. Put my asparagus in there and see if I have enough. Mm, I think that's good. I think I, I think I got enough. And now for our noodles. Remember, these are already cooked. So it, it only takes a couple minutes. For these, our asparagus takes about five minutes, so I will let that cook just a few before I add this. And y'all may wonder, why in the world did she call it rotisserie chicken stir-fry stir soup? Well, these are all the things I like in stir-fry. I really like the chicken, and I love mushrooms. I'm a big mushroom fanatic, and I said one day I would like to grow my own mushrooms, so that might be something that I try. And I love asparagus. Um, this spring, I actually planted several crowns. So maybe in, in a few years, two or three years, I'll have my own asparagus growing out back. And they say it does good in, um, in tide. And actually, wild asparagus does grow here on the island. So there you go. That and my stir-fry noodles. To me, this almost has a pastry or what we call pie bread down here, consistency. These noodles do. Oh, so this should be good. You know what? I think I'm going to add a little pepper. I had added some earlier, but I just, I think I want a little more. cook and y'all y'all can do whatever you want and that's what I say every time I go to cook something make it your own you don't have to follow a recipe exact you know maybe if you're a beginning cooker you might want to and and then after you get used to things kind of change it up a bit so now we're gonna add the, the noodles Break these up just a tad. Yeah, gonna want a bunch of noodles. And y'all, be sure to watch out for me tomorrow. Cause no doubt I'll be out there if tides up on our on our road, I'll be out there wandering around. Show you a little bit of real Hatteras Island life. Not sugar coated. <laughs> oh yeah, this is looking good. Turn that up a little more. Because I did add extra water. I don't know if y'all can... See this. You'll see it when I ladle it out into my soup cup. 
Now, over the next few days, I'm going to cook Aunt Barbara's pound cake and also Daddy's sage rubbed, salt and sage rubbed pork loin. That was one of his favorite meals. And we'll make some sage gravy to go with it and some rice. It's got some good things going on in the middle of this storm, this upcoming storm. Just give it a few minutes. Let us do its thing. I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope everybody follows me. For those who are just happening upon my page on here on YouTube, you can also find me on Facebook. Just type in Dawn's Kitchen and Hatter's Island Life and have a, a public group on there. Just, just join. Just come on and join. Introduce yourself. Tell me where you're from and what you like to do. Why do you like, you know, why do you like my page? Why you, <laughs> if you enjoy cooking or if you just like the island itself. I like to learn about people. I like to know where they come from, what they do, the similarities between people. The world is a lot smaller than we think. And y'all, if any of y'all been to Ladles up in Nags Head, when you go to get soup, Ladle's Kitchen, they give you these really good spoons. See the depth? I saved these for my coffee to bring home. <laughs> but they make the best tasting spoons. If you want to taste for your salt and your herbs and anything else, and try not to burn your tongue. Daddy used to say that Great Grandma Ella she used to be able to eat the hottest stuff. And he doesn't mean spice hot. He means heat hot. Or he did mean heat. Mmm. That is good. You're starting to taste the asparagus in there. Asparagus and the, the chicken. And, and I mean, if you need, you know, if you don't have a chicken at home to, to make your own stock, this is fine. Get your, you know... Just get you some broth, some chicken broth. A lot of times when I get the chicken broth, I get the low sodium. So I can adjust that myself. And it's funny, someone who likes salt, <laughs> I do get the low sodium and things. Yeah, but y'all just let that, just let that cook a few. And then, we cook the, you know, cook the sparrows asparagus until it gets the tenderness you like. Same with the, well, the noodles are already good. This is my favorite soup cup. My daughter gave me this. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. She gave it to me back when I worked at the pottery studio. Oh, and I could, so I could take my own soup for lunch and things. But it's lit it, and I love this thing. But anyways, y'all, I just want y'all to, I don't know if you, can I tilt it without spilling it? What do y'all think? Let me get my other silicone, my silicone mitt. It's somewhere around here, or maybe not. I think, my, oh, there it is, in the back of the drawer, y'all. Call them my Kermit mitts. It looks like Kermit the Frog. I don't know if y'all can see much. But anyways, it's, it's, well, you can't really see much. But, um, can you see that? Got your asparagus and your chicken and your good noodles and your good broth. And when you were growing up, didn't, didn't your mama or your grandmother or somebody give you chicken soup for when you were sick? Natural antioxidant. Or whatever they called it. But it helps you. <laughs> so once again, without burning my mouth, I'm going to let y'all sit here and watch me eat. Mm-hmm. Nope, I'm going to burn my mouth if I do it. <laughs> it's a little too hot. I'm being impatient. But y'all, this is some good eating. 
I think I think it's a winner. For the first time I'm making this, I think it's a winner. Turn that down, it's getting boiling too much. So that's my first attempt at Dawn's rotisserie chicken stir fry soup. And if y'all make it, let me know. Go on my Facebook page, take a picture, say, look, Dawn, I, I tried it. And, and tell me about your own things that you, you know, might use. Instead of the, um, instead of the herb blend, tell me if you got your own, own mushrooms of some other type and added them. But anyways, I'm going to turn that thing down a little bit more, let the asparagus cook a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to go at it. Well, I'm glad you could join me today and stick with me over the next few days. There's, there's a lot of fun to come. Hopefully not too bad of a storm. Everybody on the island take care of themselves, and I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.